college provides some really cool opportunities for people to follow their passions and things they're interested in and gain really valuable tools and knowledge that then they can use to either pursue their passions or get a job that they want or provide for the people that they love, things like that. My favorite thing about college is being able to interact and live with people that have had experiences and knowledge of things that I have no idea about. It teaches me all kinds of things about the world that I would have never had a chance to know. I think because you have to meet so many people all the time, it's kind of like difficult making those authentic, like genuine relationships and really making sure that you get to know people. I found that my first year in school was really easy to just like see someone and say, hey, ask how they're doing, and then like keep going on my way. And for a lot of the people I had met, like the conversation never really extended beyond that, um, which is difficult. Plus you're just like meeting new people all the time. And I think that was probably the hardest part for me of college so far. But um, that's one of the things I'm definitely gonna try to work on is trying to have more genuine, authentic relationships and make sure I really get to know the people that I'm learning with and hanging out with and eating with all the time. Um, I'm thinking neuroscience or computer science. I really like studying the mind and decision making. So I used to think I wanted to major in psychology, but I also really like the science and like looking at cells under microscopes and all those crazy things. Thinking about how all the little atoms in your brain make thought and consciousness and emotion. and It's crazy and we don't understand any of it. So someone needs to start understanding it. So. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I uh, chose to go into biology and the history of science because I'm interested in a lot of different things, and I always have been. Um, so I uh, found that I really enjoyed the introductory bio classes at Duke, and I'm on the medical school track. I went to college because I knew I wanted to work in healthcare and help people. So I'm studying biology to prepare for medical school and I'm studying the history of science because I'm interested in um, continuing to work and learn in the humanities as well as the sciences. So I've always loved working with computers and technology even from a very young age and it just seemed like a good way for me to be able to work in that field by majoring in electrical and computer engineering. One thing was because it was really close to home and I wanted somewhere that was not quite South Carolina but not like too far so North Carolina seemed like a really good spot. And the basketball is not bad. So. I picked Duke uh, because Duke offered me a really awesome financial opportunity to, to go to Duke. Um, they extended the, like basically to pay for my education and that was really important to me because I didn't have a lot of resources to pay for my own education. So Duke's um, opportunities to, to go without worrying about my own costs was really important, were really important. I also kind of wanted a school that was a little bit closer to home, um, just so that I could get there by car instead of by plane. Um, a lot of expenses were considered for that too. And I also, my mom's a single mom, so I wanted to make sure that if I ever needed to get home, um, it wouldn't be too difficult. So there were a lot of factors, but you know, Duke kind of fit the mold for everything. I think for me, since I'm a first generation student, my parents didn't go to college, I was the first one to go to college. It was very difficult to find my footing like in how to start going to college process, so applying to college was very different for me, taking tests like SAT, ACT was very different for me, getting my classes ready each year like to prepare for college was very different. So it was just like I was very much like not guided. I had to do this by myself. So like applying to college, like I, like some things like financial aid forms, things like that. Like I've heard a lot of students like, oh, my parents did that for me because like that's what's supposed to happen. But because my parents didn't have access to that information, I had to do that for myself. So it was, I think the most difficult thing to like go through education was like guiding myself through this like process that I didn't really know about. So I had to like figure it out by myself and like through asking other people. I wanted to go to college because growing up I saw all of the hard work that my mom had to do. Like she worked at a hotel, she worked at McDonald's, um, she worked at TC's Pizza and she had to put in long hours, hard hours doing 
things that she wasn't getting, getting paid enough to do. So I wanted to go to college so I could make money and be like, hey mom, like you can quit your job and like, I got you now. And just give back for everything she did. I'm a psychologist, clinical psychologist. I'm a retired soldier and a former deputy sheriff. And I now work in the ministry at St. Mary's AME Church. Before I retired, I worked at the uh, big construction work. Worked over at the International Paper Company on construction. I was a commissioner in the city of New York and we did financial investigation. I'm an employee at Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, for 12 years now. With Freedom Readers, I'm the regional director for the Georgetown, Columbia area. I work at Myrtle Beach in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for 39 years at AVX Corporation. The first four years of my life I worked at Metropolitan Life Insurance Company and I didn't like working with a bunch of girls so I wanted another job and I I was leaving work one day and I came by a barbering school and I said well you know maybe I could be a barber and I went in asked about it back in those days they didn't like people they didn't like girls being barbers it, it was not accepted it was frowned upon ladies were supposed to do ladies job and men were supposed to do their job but I always swim upstream when it comes to my jobs. I became a barber. I worked as a barber for 14 years. I owned the shop. And I, um, I left New York and moved back to South Carolina. And I got a job as a crane operator at Georgetown Steel. And I worked there for 27 and a half years. Now I'm retired and I volunteer a lot. Well, I am a full-time artist and an activist and a mom and a wife. So I got a bunch of jobs. 